These are different, but how? How are they different? <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back and in this video we're going to look at the Logitech G502 sounds like a pair of jeans 502s but it's not a pair of jeans it's in fact a mouse this is the Hero it's a professional gaming mouse it's corded in other words it's not wireless why did we go corded well because the fact of latency and so forth it's much faster performing having a wired mouse and it is something that has to momentarily have a lapse in concentration if you like communicating with the receiver and transmitter and so forth so this is what you get inside the thing let's have a good look here we've got a nice uh, uh, Logitech uh, or Logitech I don't know how you say it um, sticker and this is the mouse comes in like a plastic container the first I noticed when I lifted up the box was in fact how heavy it was it's a nice rubber cable here and these are the weights that you can put on the underside of this mouse. So let's have a little look at these instructions. Looks like the usual sort of stuff you get. Uh, this is just basically instructions about how to look after it, don't throw it in fires and so forth, but also how to apply the weights. I quite like the look of this. This looks quite nice, doesn't it? So as you go through this, you'll notice that the uh, the box itself is pretty much redundant so to try and put the thing back in it's not worth it even though it's a cool looking box and my reluctancy to throw it away is shown because it's still left in the house even though I can't use it. So you've got this other advertising leaflet there, other products, um, no doubt we'll have a look at those. We do actually have Logitech or Logitech uh, headphones, um, some gaming ones uh, by Simon Scott I should probably do a review on those. Let's, anyway, let's have a look at this mouse. Now it's programmable, it's got tons of buttons and uh, it's weighted so you can get that ideal feel. I think it looks really good. It's a good bit of kit this. So as we take a look at it, you notice it's quite striking looking. It's got a nice rubberized cable with this one. Um, but uh, already I noticed a difference between this mouse and the one I got my son's. His is slightly different and yet his is a 502 as well. But I'll have a look at the difference a little bit later on. It's a long cable this, it's 1.8 to 2 meters, in fact I measured it as 1.95 centimeters or 195 centimeters which is nearly 2 meters. Got a nice little velcro strap here. It's probably worth noting that these mice are thinking mice, um, they are really well made, very quick at responding which is what I was looking for and also good for editing and that was the other thing I wanted to have it for not only gaming but for editing I wanted to um, control the editing cycle on the screen with the click of a button the mouse itself is quite nice uh, so let's have a little look here and uh, you'll notice it's got a lovely wheel on it too and that wheel is made of metal it's got like a sort of textured plasticky feel to it on the uh, uh, on the upper side and on the sides itself uh, it's slightly rubberized and it's a nice little place to put your hand uh, your, well your hand I say it's your thumb I know it's attached to your hand but there you go so as we have a look underneath it you can just see what it looks like it feels as a wide mouse it, it feels heavier than what I'm used to so having weights in here is obviously a reason obviously just to give it that good slidey feel as you can see putting the weights in is not going to be a difficult job the actual underside of this um, just sort of has like a, um, a sort of self sealing sort of mechanism uh, slightly magnetized by the look of it so as we look underneath here and I just start to pull this away you'll start to see where you can put the magnets so yeah it's magnetized just clearing a little bit of dirt there away but it's uh, surprising how good this looks so as we look at the uh, the weights here, we just see these. Oh, just drop one there. And these weights are quite weighty. <laughs> oh, I love jokes like that. Just um, 
wouldn't want to keep you waiting around. That's what I'm saying. Wait for it. Okay, I've got to stop there with the dad jokes. Now I pop these weights in here like this. They are a very snug feel, and they don't come out. So I was shaking it there, so they're obviously magnetised on the side, or it's the resistance against the plastic there. By the way, they didn't come out. And this is the combinations of weights I've left in there until now. And I've had this uh, mouse uh, for quite some time. Uh, currently a month now. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't know if it felt any different with those weights in there, but no doubt when I'm gaming, I'll probably find out that it is. I need to use it for a bit longer, or certainly not just for editing. You can see the extra buttons on the side here, and you can control the definition or the way with which the mouse has its sensitivity with the click of a button. And the wheel itself is quite interesting, but I'll come back to that in a second. It feels nice and it's metallic -y and it's very heavy. So if you notice, you can knock the wheel left and right, just like that, and that means you can scroll left and right on the screen. And with the press of a button, you can spin the wheel. And you're probably thinking, why on earth would I wish to spin the wheel like this? Well, if you cast your mind back to looking at Word documents or anything where you have to look at reams and reams of pages, this is a perfect solution to that. You spin that wheel and then you just go through 100 pages at a time, whatever's convenient to you. Again, you can adjust the sensitivity on that too. I'll go through a little bit about the installation a little bit further on and you'll see what the installation guide is like and the settings on the screen. Looking at the side of the mouse here, you know, it's got a nice little thumb rest and it feels really good. It feels heavy, but there again, why would you want to lift the mouse up and around anyway? It's a sliding device and that's what I'll be using it for, sliding around on the desk. Not actually me using it to slide around on, but using it to operate a little cursor on the screen, of course. Stupid bear that I am saying things such as that. Now, the quality is excellent. I think it looks nice too. Now you've got this sort of smooth feel across here. Now, there's a closer look at the button. You can see that by pressing that button, you can spin that wheel. It's a nice weighty feel to that too. And obviously the, you can press it downwards as well as side to side. So it's a four function uh, button, if you like, that, uh, that mouse wheel. Another sort of uh, arty sort of shot there, just having a little look at it. And it looks lovely. This is RGB as well. So. Let's go back to installing it. Now, this is part of my desktop you're looking at. And uh, well, as soon as I clicked it in, this is what I was faced with on a Mac. This is on a MacBook Pro, incidentally. So I thought, right, well, it's not a keyboard, so what do I do here? Nope, still not a keyboard. It says identifying your keyboard. Uh, no, it's still not a keyboard. Even I know the distance, distance the difference. So. Let's go through the settings a little bit here. So what I what I did do was have a look at using it in Final Cut Pro. I put it in there, just have a little drag and move around just to see if it worked. And that looked okay. So the mouse was connected. So with my files there. And yeah, well it behaved normally. Um, and I was scrolling up and down using the wheel. And that worked. So although it didn't instantly recognize it, it still allowed me to use the mouse as it should have been. And um, I had a few little clicks around, but it didn't seem to do anything to the mouse itself. Uh, but what I did notice is that the mouse did light up and it was cycling through several different colors. And you'll have a look at that towards the, uh, the end there. Now, what you saw me do just then on the screen was cycle left and right. And that was just by clicking the mouse wheel left and right. Now what I did do, I went to the Logitech site and I went and had a quick look at their hub. And this is where I got their software from. Um, the Mac itself didn't launch this and it didn't sort out for me. So you'll have to actively do it yourself. That's exactly what I did. So I just went through OK and things. So downloading. And here we go, and it comes up with lots of crazy words in a minute. Certainly things that make you think. I try and reduce the probability of thinking because it usually gets me into trouble. So it says um, uh, the new Logitech Hub software is back to improve your game device and configuration experience, which it does. Obviously download speeds will depend on the sort of setup you've got at home too. Don't worry, I won't keep all of this because it will bore you to tears. Now, if he says it says, build, um, in front of you, it says building and protecting. 
And then it says another selection of words in a second. See if you can guess what this will say. Wait for it. Wait for it. Strafing and boosting. Obviously key words for game playing. What's the next one? Sitting and yawning. Um, scratching your nose, picking your nose and jumping. Let's have a look. Let's see what else it has. It's got to have something. Maybe put on the comments below uh, what you think it should be saying in this section as it's standard in the software. If you've got any comments, try and make them half reasonable and half pleasant. Oh, here we go. Hovering and landing. Well, that's a good one. Okay. Um, fighting and shooting. Maybe that's another one. Um, watering and screaming. Yelling and playing. Laughing and joking. Let's see if it says anything else here. No doubt you probably got other things here, like stop talking. I'm just trying to give you an idea what it's like as it's downloading, so you know exactly what you're going to receive when you install the mouse itself. No, I can't think of anything else here. Oh, there you go, locked and loaded. That's a good one. Or fire in the hole would be a good one. Okay, it says it's successful. So I've uh, clicked OK and it's opening the opening screen for Logitech. Not so much in the way it sounds there, but uh, welcome to Logitech the Hub, let's get started. Now the screen is a little bit warped because I was getting some private information, so I've zoomed in a little bit, so it, it's actually a clear cut screen to look at this in reality. So these are the different things you can scroll through. Uh, about exploring our community and uh, just general sort of blurb. It's quite, it's, well, I, I recommend it. It's certainly worth trying to look at all these options and have a little play with them and just see what you like. And this is to give me an idea about uh, whether I want to put um, data forwards and all that sort of stuff. Now, the new features, add some other blurb. Okay, now here we are to the nuts and bolts. There's the mouse. That's Pretty much what it looks like on my desk on my uh, uh, my mouse pad with the light going off and you can adjust the uh, the sensitivities and the range of the light and so forth actually works pretty well this and whatever you see on the screen is what you'll get on your mouse so if you like a particular red like purple pink yellow or green or red like my son loves his in red he just locked on red i think he's gone back to rainbow color now I've left mine cycling through too. You can cycle through quickly. Uh, you can adjust the light intensity. And you can just generally play around with it just so you can get the ultimate desired effect that you fancy as opposed to anyone else, of course. So first impressions are pretty good. The software is excellent uh, and the mouse itself is brilliant too. Um, from the use of this first experience, uh, I was thinking, gosh, it's a bit big, it's a bit heavy, but I've used it for a good month since making this video, and I can assure you it's absolutely brilliant and uh, certainly well worth the money. If I paid the normal retail price, which is just under £80, I believe, I think it's still worth it. I think it was worth the money. Um, it's the other settings. This is how you go through the menu to assign the buttons and no doubt you'll be able to get the ideal combinations of buttons to suit the games or the software you wish. Now, I made my own file up, uh, which I haven't done here, but I'm just giving you a rough idea how things work, um, for Final Cut Pro. So I've got cut, paste, and move, and uh, bring up audio files and all this sort of stuff, just as a click of a button, as opposed to touching the keyboard, which means everything can be done more seamlessly. Now, obviously, you've got favorite games too, as I've got favorite games. And um, with these first person shooters, you've got the uh, uh, crouching, grenade, cycle through weapons and so forth, and you get the ideal combination you like. This here is the movement speed and sensitivity of the mouse, and uh, that's quite a nice bar, and it sort of works really well. But you can press one of the buttons and adjust that yourself in game or in program, if you like. Um, either way, completely customizable. So going back to the fact about the money we paid, now, uh, I paid just over 40 quid for this, um, uh, for, in fact 49 pounds, which is under 50 quid. Um, that was a bargain um, compared to the other mice that are, or mouse, gaming mouses that are available. Um, this is a great, good bit of kit. Um, 
I think it's worth it. If you're a gamer or editor and you want some of instant uh, responsiveness, this mouse you cannot go wrong with. Um, this is an excellent bit of kit. You won't be disappointed and it's certainly worth the money, no matter what you have. There you go, it's the outside of the mouse there, so you can see what it looks like. That's the cycling colour on my MacBook there. And uh, I'm going to compare it with my son's now. There's his, uh, obviously slightly out of secrets, but I wonder what the difference is. As you saw at the beginning of this caption, well, I can tell you. It's this, the cable. He's got a braided one. I bought these at the same time. And it's really irritating, to be honest. I prefer a braided one, but uh, I I'm used to this one and I like it. Uh, you won't be disappointed, whichever version you get, it's fantastic, buy it.